Hello babies, welcome back to a brand new vlog. Welcome back to a brand new video. Welcome back to the channel. If you are brand new to the channel, welcome. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. Click the bell to get notified for all my brand new videos and I have my socials down below. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Leave some love down below. Do not be shy because I love seeing all of your comments. Hopefully you guys enjoy the vlog. Let's get right into it. Okay, so first thing I have my robe and my slippers are a must. This is also from Sissy's brand and also the robe is two from the brand Beige. My my biggest egg is coming out of the shower and your wet feet going on the tile. Brushing your hair before you get inside the shower will eliminate so many tangles and it, it just kind of gives you like this fresh slate before you get inside the shower. Oh, I got one down. Oh, girl. Oh. For shampoo and conditioner, I have them in my little aesthetic bottles. So this is the Karina Organics. I do get the scent Sweet Pea. I picked these up at Healthy Planet. I have the Sweet Pea shampoo. I used to have very bad dandruff. This is dandruff prone scalps works very very well i love the scent it's very feminine Mm, very floral i also go in with the scalp massager that i just got off of amazon they're super affordable and they're also really great for different hair types personally for me the reason why i use it is that it allows me to loosen up any buildup i have in my scalp that i used while styling my hair which I do a lot so and I also love that the bristles on it are very gentle for the scalp as well The other thing I use is a purple shampoo. The one I've been using is by Acure It's not 100% clean, but the Acure I think only has like one or two things It's very hard to find a super clean purple shampoo that actually does the job the best deep treatment conditioner that actually works for me I have dry damaged hair just to let you know So this one just make sure that you are washing this out very thoroughly because it is very very rich I can honestly say you guys my hair is very very nice when I come out of the shower i then will brush the conditioner throughout my entire hair i just recently got this brush and i love it so much it's great for someone who has a lot of hair look at what that conditioner does it is just so nice and then i finish off after rinsing by tying up my hair with this hair towel i used to air dry my hair i've stopped that the key is you don't want to be leaving this wet for a long time you're going to cause some scalp issues you're going to cause more hair loss and you're also going to cause a bacteria growth you don't want to go to bed with it wet which i've done multiple times going on your skin it's going inside of your pillowcases this is the air hype light from timo they sent this to me just to let you guys know but i want to compare them because i told them right away my audience knows I do love my shark, but I also want to show you guys a very, very much comparable product. This is $350 Canadian. This guy is $99.99 and I have a 30% off coupon, which brings it down to $70. So I also have two attachments for this. They have a diffuser and they also have that brush comb. Every time I was sharing this one, everyone said like $350, like is it really worth it? I would say it is only worth it, you guys, if you're going to be using a bunch of the attachments. And, and that's what this guy looks like you can also rotate a 360 and this one is actually magnetic which i've never seen before so it just pops on you can easily rotate it i feel like that's really cool because you don't really have to do much you can just pop it on so super easy so they both have that head the shark you get four temperatures with this one you get four temperatures and then in terms of the actual speeds of the air you get three settings here and here you get three settings so pretty much the same so you guys can see that the timo one is slightly smaller they both are really good for travel size so if you guys are looking for one plus i really love the aesthetic of this one i think it is super clean so I'm gonna start blow drying my hair. I actually just like to take the nozzle off and I'm actually gonna blow dry my hair on the room temperature setting. You're gonna avoid a lot of heat damage. Plus this is also very, very strong, you guys. The power of this is amazing. So it's gonna dry your hair really fast, taking down the time by 50%, but also not leaving any heat damage. Okay, we're done blow drying the hair, you guys. It said online that if you have hair like me or curly, it'll take about 12 to 15 minutes. I felt like this one dried my hair a few minutes faster than my shark. The shark is skinnier than this guy, so you're actually gonna get more of a blow dry with this one. Plus the power, I would say, is 10% more with this one as well. And the noise, I would say, was about 5 to 10%, a little bit quieter with this one over here, but that might be a big thing for someone who has more hair like me. I'm honestly so happy that they've created these lighter blow dryers. It's actually smaller than my hair. Like, I honestly really enjoyed blow drying my hair with this one. I love all the settings on it. If you guys are looking for something lightweight, that's still gonna give you the equivalent performance-wise and also technology-wise. As the higher end blow dryers, I definitely would recommend this one. It offers you pretty much the same settings as you guys would be paying for a $300 blow dryer. I'm going to leave my coupon code right over here and I have the link down below if you guys want to shop it. Let, let that swing back like a curtain. 
Wow, what could happen if I wasn't lazy and did my hair all the time? I like when my hair looks natural. I don't like when it looks like it's been styled too much. You know what I mean? Like, the only thing I like to add at this point is a little bit of jojoba. If you guys find that you have dry scalp, jojoba oil is actually not an oil. It's technically a wax, and it will not make your scalp um, greasy at all or oily. It did not make my hair greasy at all. It's a very lightweight oil, too. I also use this on my face on a daily, to be honest with you. But I just take a few drops. I'm actually running low on this and I'm just adding that to the bottom and you are going to see that your ends will soak that in and they'll look so nice and healthy. It's really just going to give your hair a very finished look. It's going to give it a nice shine and also just make those ends look super hydrated instead of dried and damaged. Guys look how nice these tomatoes are from my dad's garden. Literally organic produce. Like he's so lucky that he has that garden back there. It feels so good when you know this is from someone you know, like their garden, you know? Like it's just a different feeling. So black pepper and salt, it's so refreshing, you guys. I never snack, but honestly, this is my type of snack if I am gonna have something, but it's just so delicious. His tomatoes taste amazing. So these long sleeve shirts from H&M, they're a must, look you guys like this shirt on me you guys have to grab it i'm gonna leave a link down below i was really struggling with like long sleeves in my wardrobe and i needed some so badly i got this taupe one i have a bunch of like new fall clothing i think i've already posted one on my channel by the time this has gone live so make sure you guys go check that out it is the morning and i wanted to show you guys i literally just finished my breakfast still drinking a little bit of my coffee mmm which, by the way, I have to update you guys on something. You guys saw in the last vlog, I wanted to try a organic coffee. So I ended up finding this one. This is actually a Canadian brand on Amazon. This is Muskoka Roastery Coffee Co. And I got the Aki Organic Blend Medium Dark. So I checked all of the other ones. I think you guys recommended Kicking Horse. Is that the brand? I didn't find any of the ones that I liked that had like the notes that I like in my espresso. This tastes very similar to the undertones and notes in the Starbucks one, and that's just what I like. I'll link this down below. I just didn't want to forget to show you guys that I have switched to this right now. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys how I make my water for the entire day. How I consume my water and what I put inside my water is completely different than like a few years ago. I would just drink, 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 drink. I wasn't really hydrating myself, so after doing research and seeing a lot of videos, I was like, oh my god, that's why. So... If you notice you drink a bunch of water, you don't put anything in it to actually hydrate yourself, you're going to be going to the bathroom constantly throughout the day. I have my Stanley cup over here. I'm also going to show you guys a close-up of me doing everything so you guys can do along with me. I will link this one down below. There's also different ones on Amazon, but I just, I love my Stanley. This is the 30 ounce. I get always a bunch of questions. This is not the 40. I think that's a little too much. I feel like the 30 is a good size for me. First thing we're going to do is I like some flavor in my water because some of the things we're going to be adding, I tried without any flavor and girl the the water was not drinkable <coughs> um <coughs> my throat my th <coughs> my throat be acting up okay like am i gonna be able to get through this this has electrolytes in it but it also has collagen and it also has vitamin c so i really like that this one has everything so you're not adding like 50 million things but this just helps conceal everything plus give me collagen add a scoop of that inside there i feel like if you struggle to drink water or you want to consume a lot more water and you don't consume any right now flavoring your water is the biggest tip i have for anybody and if you're gonna flavor your water get one that has stuff in it you guys like get it get stuff that has Collagen, vitamin C is going to help hydrate you like with your electrolytes and everything. We have L-carnitine. These are tablets. I usually just take them orally, but honestly, I've just been like opening the capsule and putting them inside my water. L-carnitine, a lot of people that have PCOS have said that this helped them a lot. Our body creates carnitine, but some, some of us don't create it enough or sometimes there's a problem with it inside of our body. So basically, this is what your body uses to turn fat into energy. Two of these capsules and empty them out into there. And a lot of girls have seen that this aids with them finally losing weight or finally seeing a change. But then we have extra collagen. So this, yes, already has collagen in it, but this is like pure, pure collagen. I got the flavorless one just because I don't want it to have flavor. I already have my own. But collagen is so, so good for your hair, skin, nails. It has been making my nails grow like crazy, you guys. Like, I showed you guys my nails before, and now I can feel the tips of them. So we're going to take a scoop. Some days I put two, but honestly, one is enough. 
Then you're going to want to grab some Celtic salt. I've switched to the salt recently because there's a lot of minerals inside of here that you're not getting in just regular table salt. You know what I mean? So this one is super important. All you need to do is just add a little pinch of salt. You don't have to be putting a bunch. You should not be tasting it. So I just take this in the palm of my hand and I'm just going to add that in. We have L-glutamine, which is something I purchased recently. So L-glutamine is very, very good for your digestion. A lot of women have stuff that helps them with their bloating. It's very good for your digestion, and it's also a very good post-workout as well. It really helps with muscle repair. So we're just going to add a scoop. This guy, if you do not flavor your water, you will get like a chalky flavor. I could not handle it, you guys. I know that this seems like a lot. This is once a day. I don't think that that's asking a lot. It, obviously, if I'm thirsty throughout the day, I'm not going to redo this. Like, this is for my day. I thought I was done, but I'm not, actually. Um, all these things are pre-prepped. And I feel like I've seen a really big difference. Just for example, two days ago, I felt like my body was, like, getting, starting to get weak, starting to catch something. I started doing this. I literally have not taken any medication whatsoever. I feel back to normal, and I'm good to go. Like, I... So inside of here, we have spearmint tea. This is so easy, you guys. You grab a big pot with water, put a bunch of spearmint tea bags in there. Versatism, which is growing hair underneath here, having a testosterone problem in women. Spearmint has shown to help that a lot. Like there's literally studies. I can tell you for me drinking spearmint, when I fall off of it, I can see my hair coming back a lot worse. So I feel like this is a much more sustainable way because not every night I'm going to want that cup of tea. Then I also have Echinacea tea right over here as well. Put it inside of your fridge and add it inside of your water. Especially because this is the season where people are going to start catching things now. Echinacea is really good for helping kind of stop that or making you feel better. Then we have the famous cucumber water. So I'm going to show you guys how I make this. Basically, you just peel the cucumbers. I actually put the peel and slices of cucumber in here with water. Let it sit in the fridge. I stir it. I shake the bottle a few times throughout the day. And I let it sit there for at least a day. And it's going to release all the antioxidants in here. It is so good for you for so many things, you guys. Also, your digestion, your bone health. This is good for a lot of, a lot of things. I was actually surprised at the other benefits of this. So I'm going to add some cucumber water. So that's basically it, you guys. That's my water for the day. And I'm telling you, I used to get up throughout the night two or three times when I was in the bathroom and it was so annoying because of how much water I would consume, but I wasn't actually hydrating myself. So now that I do this, I wake up in the morning and go to the bathroom once in the morning. This might change things up for you. So make sure you guys try this out and let me know what you guys think. These damn fruit flies, like I swear to God, I'd be looking crazy over here fighting them sometimes. Like I'm over here like, the best is when I'm like, I think I can catch them with my hand and I'm like, and I go look at my hand and like, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. Like flown away. Like I just. I'm at Tim Hortons and I really want to try out this drink that everyone keeps talking about on TikTok and I don't even know how to order it. Thank you for choosing Tim Hortons. Hey now, can I do? You guys have an iced espresso? Uh, you want iced espresso? Yes, but I also want the um, the foam on top. Is... Uh, I only have the espresso foam. Oh, okay, so if I want vanilla in it, I would have to add vanilla? Yeah, like vanilla syrup, yep. Okay, so can I do... So I will do um, two of the vanilla syrup in there and the espresso foam. Could I get double espresso? Oh, you want double espresso? Yes. yes. You want it in a medium cup? Yeah, medium like... medium cup is good. Yeah. That's it. Thank you, Thank you. You're welcome. God, that was a trip. <laughs> I don't really come to Tim Hortons. The only thing I get from here is two milk, one sugar. Good girl, my love. You're such a good girl, my love. What are you doing in mommy's bag? Come sit here with mommy. Hey, no, sit. 14. Okay, Lisa. Sit, mama. Good girl. Thank you. Just give me one moment, okay? Thank you. I'm excited to try this, Mama. Mommy's gonna try a new coffee. You like coffee? No? Okay. Yeah, I love you. I put it in a medium cup, but with the espresso and the ice, it doesn't fill all the way, so it is just. Does it not come in the plastic cup? Okay, thank it you. I'm so excited. <laughs> she gave it to me, and uh, that's very strange because everybody on TikTok does not get it in this cup. That doesn't make any sense, Nyla. That, that just, like, the math is not mathing. Be nice, girl. Enough Starbucks. 
Okay, the espresso foam is fire. Mmm, this is very good. It's cheaper than my Starbucks drink. I would ask them to put it in an iced coffee cup. The girl said to me, she's like, um, we have to put the espresso in these cups and the other cups are for iced coffee. Guys, if I can offer you a marketing tip, I suggest you stop doing that. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys how cute it looks in the clear cup and like the color of it. Like it looks so delicious when you can actually see it. So that's why I'm so like annoyed by it. Mmm. But if I was on like a little road trip or something, I would grab this for sure on the way down. This is so yummy and it tastes like a dessert. I'm gonna be honest with you, this is very comparable to Starbucks. Like every time I go on TikTok now, see all these Canadian girlies crossing the border and like going to all the cute like US stores and I get it, right? As a Canadian, like I used to love going across the border. I was dying because I'm like, guys, my sister doesn't like to travel, Amy. Jessica's always working. Jessica would actually cross the border with me, like one, like 100%. She's always down to do stuff. She's like me. But Amy does not like to like travel. And then I'm like, then I have no friends. And I'm like, so that's my problem. That's why I can't go to the border. <laughs> but I was dying because you guys never come here for anything. But this girl, she actually comes across the border to have Tim Hortons. And I'm like, girl, I am so done. Like there's so much more in the US than there is for you guys to come here and see stuff here. Like. I'll never forget we went on a trip when I was about like maybe 17, 18. And I was the one in charge of like booking the hotel because like my mom didn't know how to do things online at the time. I would like book the hotel and I made sure it was like this bougie looking hotel. And my mom's like, was it expensive? Because she gave me like my dad's credit card. I'm like, no, it wasn't expensive. Like, don't worry about it. Um, but I chose this bougie ass hotel that was close to a Starbucks, close to a Target. I mapped everything out and I was like, it needs to be close to an Ulta. Like that was the hype of the makeup era, you know? You're so cute, my gal. You're so cute. You're just chilling here with mommy. I love you so much. You're my little bud. Actually getting Amy to get off her ass and go, that that's the you know, cancer. Like, you know, when you when you have a cancer buddy, they just want to stay home. They're such home bodies. They can stay home for like seven days a week. I cannot do that. Are we going to go home now? You want to go home? Okay. High five. High five. Let's go home. Nyla, there's a bee. Nyla, get in your seat. There's a bee. There's a bee. There's a bee. There's a bee. We got to go. We got to. Okay, guys, we're back for round two. This is the day after. I don't know what it is, but the ones that I've been going to, they don't want to give the espresso in a clear cup. But the iced vanilla came in this cup, no problem. So I'm, this is what I got yesterday. But I, this is a big difference because in that small red cup, I did not get this much. Mm. Their espresso is actually fire. Okay, this one is the iced latte with oat milk. I didn't change anything except for the oat milk. Hmm. This is very good. It's very good. Right now, it's a little too sweet for my liking, but this is a very good drink. Like, if you like sweet, milky drinks, this one is just, if you want a dessert, mm-mm-mm. I just realized that there's been a man sitting there just looking at me as I'm doing this this entire time. That's why it's good to be delusional and not care, because, you know? Mm. I just finished filming a haul for you guys, a clothing haul. But yeah, definitely try out this drink. I'll leave the details down below too if you guys want. But it is so yummy. Honestly, I haven't been to Starbucks in two days because I've been trying these drinks instead. And that's so weird for me because I'm always at Starbucks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the vlog. Let me know down below what your favorite part was. Let me know what you guys want to see. I'm also going to be doing some more fall hauls for you guys. In the new vlog, I'm actually going to be making my place a little cozy. We're going to do some home decor shopping. So that's going to be super fun. So make sure you guys stay tuned for the next vlog. Give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe and also click the bell. And make sure you guys also check out my socials down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see all of my beautiful babes in my next video.